body, babe. I'ma keep the lights on so you can see my body, babe. Ain't no party. Hi guys, sorry I've taken so long to come back with another tutorial. Yes, I see bullets flying towards my head right now. I am a bit long.com. I've just been so manic at the moment, but I always try to answer your queries if you have sent any um, as quickly as I possibly can. But I'm back. <laughs> Hopefully, again, I won't be long.com for the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, I want to show you some great shortcut keys. Um, the shortcut keys I'm going to show you will be really useful for when you're doing vocal editing. And also, there'll be some that will be good for um, importing like loops and instrumentals. So I'm just going to go through some of my shortcut keys, my favourites, that I hope that you will find useful. And I'll also explain what they can do. So the first key I'm going to tell you about is the X key. So if you press X on your keyboard, first of all you have to make sure that you're in the audio window here. So make sure you've clicked into that because if you don't the uh, shortcut keys won't come to effect. So if you press X on your Mac or PC then you see that the mixer window has appeared. Now this window will show you all your tracks. So as you can see in this track, I've got quite a lot of tracks and vocals. Um, this is a song that I'm working on and yeah, I like to do a lot of layering and harmonies. So that's why it looks like that. Um, and when I'm in this window, you can um, basically edit the vocals while you're in there, sort out your mix. So if I just play a little something, Turn up the volume, up and down. You're so good, you're so good. I can't believe it's over. So in this section, as well as turning up volumes or vocals or, uh, or instrumentals, um, you can also change the compressor, your EQs, and things like that. So there's so much you can do in this window. I will do an in-depth tutorial, hopefully in the future, about this. So to get out of this window, you just press the X key again. Voila, we're back to the main screen. The other um, good shortcut key is pressing the Y key on your keypad. When you press the Y key, the library opens to your left-hand side here. And in here, you can see that already it's detected what vocal track I'm using and what plugin. I'm using a female ambient lead vocals, one of my favorite uh, plugins. So just to give you an example of how that plugin sounds. I found myself in payment. Misery, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me so. I can't believe it's over. What do you mean it's over? So you get the gist. So in that section, you can change the vocal tone on this by just selecting a different vocal track here, a different plugin. The library doesn't just consist of vocals. Obviously, it, does, it consists of everything that Logic has to offer, from drums to pianos, everything you can think of. It's the library for Logic. So that's how you get to that library, by pressing the Y key very quickly and making your selection. So let's just come out of that now. So to do that, you press the Y key again. Now we have the inspector window. So how do we open and close the inspector window? Yes, the inspector window is already open here. But to close it, and say like you wanted to have more um, room to view your tracks on your screen, if you don't have a, a monitor or big sort of you know computer screen, um, just press the I key and it will give, show you a bit more. But just pressing the I key again will bring back the inspector window. And this is the inspector window here on the left. Here you can do a lot. You can, again, kind of like the um, mixer window, you can change a lot of the sounds, the compression, the EQ, turn them off, turn them on. And also you can solo tracks. More than I should, I wish I could let this go. My heart be cold, but and so be happy when you're not and mute. So they're the quick things you can do once you've got that window open. So I generally keep my inspector window open because I do have um, a Sony monitor as well that I connect to my iMac. So the other shortcut key I would like to show you is the smart controls. To open the smart controls you need to press the letter B for Bravo. 
and this is where you can get the compressor, the limiters and the assembles and you can manipulate the sound of your vocals or even your instrumentals just by pressing the knobs here. Very easy. To come out of that, you just press B again. Um, the next key I would like to show you is the editor window. So, and that's the, by pressing E, this is where you will see all your vocals close up, so to speak. You can zoom in by pressing the, if you come to the right of the screen here, you can press, sorry, you can drag to the right and drag to the left to view your vocals. You can edit your vocals here. If you wanted to make this screen bigger, you can even push up the screen, push it up here by pressing on the bar and drag in and back down again. So this is a good way. Sometimes I use this when I'm doing my editing or when I'm using the flex tools, um, on my uh, when I'm editing my vocals, so this is this is a really good one to to use to edit vocals, and all your file information is also here. So to get out of that, you just press B, and that will take you out of that window. And um, the next thing I want to show you is the loops menu. I know I generally talk about editing vocals, but I also want to touch on a little bit about how to make beats and things like that and the great tools that Logic Pro X has to offer. So we have this amazing catalog of loops that Logic has given us, given to us. The samples are all free so you can use them and to access them you just press the letter O. So if you press the letter O you'll see on the right hand side this lovely loop bar has appeared. Now I love this because um, you can just narrow it down. Say for example you only want to find a piano beat you just select piano here, then all the piano beats that Logic has to offer will be here. And that's just the piano beats they have, but you can also manipulate them with the other functionalities of Logic. But just to give you an example of a piano beat, um, Brazilian. And the green one's a bit more So say you found a beat that you really like and you think, mm, I might use that later on when I, you know, want to make a beat. If you find a, a loop that you like, what you should do really is try and save it. Or Sorry, what I mean is add it as a favourite. So up here you've got a heart which represents favourites. So if you tick that box there, now that will be added to your favourites pile. So anytime you um, want to go back to that, you just filter on favourites and all your favourites will be listed. So these are all my favourite beats so far, which I'm giving away that I like. Um, and again, you have everything in here, as I said earlier. Um, I would definitely recommend that you play around with this section to learn about the beats and the loops and, and percussion and everything that Logic has to offer. Now to close that again, you just press O. So if you press the letter D, it will open up all the edits that you've made in your track. So as you can see here, all the edits I've made is listed and you can actually put them back in if you wish to put them back in and things like that or go back and listen to what maybe the edit might have been. Um, so everything is there, so not all is lost. To close that window, you just press D and it's closed. Now, when you finish track, Sometimes it's difficult to differentiate between what was your verse, what was your harmonies and things like that. You may have your own sort of way of how you um, like to see your tracks visually, but I tend to use colours. So at the moment you can see that I have my instrumentals at the top here in these colours, a yellow and a greeny yellow colour, mustard rather, and then I have my lead vocals in red and then everything else is in blue. So everything else is really like my backing vocals and things like that. And then if you go to the right, you'll see that I have all my hooks in that sort of mustard colour. But you can change your colours to whatever colour you want. Now I know, and then here I've got more harmonies in a hook which I've made a different colour. But you make your your track the way you want it. Now you're probably thinking, oh right, sure, that's great, but how do I open up the colour um, palette? So you have to press Option and C, and then your colour palette will open. Now to change the colour, you just hover on um, 
or you can drag across a few different um, vocal edits or you know not just vocals instrumental edits and then you just select a color and it will change it automatically and to undo that just command Z and we'll take it back to the original color so that is quite useful and um, to close it off again just option and C again um, and finally to like I know I touched on this earlier but there's nothing more frustrating when you're building a track and you've got so much vocals and you're doing your editing and your screen is just not big enough and yeah not everyone has a monitor with a big screen a lot of people use their MacBook, MacBooks and things like that to use logic and so you're minimal with your screen so always try and make your screen as big as possible when editing because it's so important to be able to see your vocal tracks um, clearly so when you're making an edit you don't take off any important parts yes we've got the zoom key but if we can make your screen bigger you make the screen bigger now to do that you press the control key command button and the letter F and there you have it it's now made your screen big to come out of that window again you'll press control command and F and you go back to normal there you go so there are my top shortcut keys I hope you find them useful um, next time I will try and go a bit more in depth with things but I just thought for now they're really useful keys um, and it kind of touches on what each shortcut key opens up and what how useful it could be maybe for you and um, if, if you have any questions by all means just drop me a comment and you know I'll always respond and again sorry for being long.com I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, have a lovely day, guys. Thank you. Put my head to my toes and let you play with my body, babe. I'ma keep the lights on so 